I'm half Dutch and half uh, North American, as in the United States. I was born in Manhattan, and then my family moved, relocated to the Netherlands. My father was originally Dutch in, um, in the early 70s when I, was, uh, when I was young, and that's when I learned Dutch, and perhaps that explains why I, um, in some respects, why I became a cultural anthropologist because I was always have always been intrigued by uh, issues of alterity of cultural difference and 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 I guess a world in which that is increasingly important the bulk of my research has focused on um, Indonesia as a country particular uh, kinds of questions that I've dealt with theoretically and ethnographically and in the last 10-15 years I would say those questions have increasingly clustered around um, the, the importance of the visual, um, of the material, in um, and perhaps the sensible um, in uh, social relations. Generally, one of the things that interests me is also the whole relationship between images and inequality, because we often tend to think of structural inequality in economic terms, which it certainly is. But I would suggest that Structural inequality does not reside in economic disparity alone, and that there is a dimension of, uh, an important dimension of visibility and invisibility, um, of recognition or withdrawal or lack of recognition that is absolutely crucial. So even if you look at the uh, Declaration of Man and Citizen, when that document deals with how people are bereft of citizenship, it is phrased in terms of um, a dire state or condition of invisibility and non-presence. And part of that is metaphorical. We think of inclusion and exclusion in metaphorical, but I think one can literalize that and try and investigate at the level of the image and the visual how that works. I'm teaching at the moment two classes. I'm teaching a course on image and violence, which is a mint course and I'm teaching another called Media Through Ethnography. Um, so I will be um, focusing especially, I think that's one of the reasons that I'm here, on issues of the visual, of image culture, of, of media forms, and the enormous, I think, impact and influence um, and shape these kinds of technologies and visual forms are giving to our world today.